Christmas now is, is a complete different outlook altogether and it's, it's awesome to be here and I know there's a lot of people sitting here tonight that I was in the same position less than a little over a year ago that I would go on Christmas, Easter, whatever to please the wife and people here now tonight pleasing their spouse or their family member or friends or maybe even just a little curious or something but they're sitting here thinking uh, it's the once a year, twice a year to church but believe me if you have any reason or any thought at all as accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior, it's it's awesome, man. Like you gotta you gotta go for it, and it's it's the best decision I have ever made. And I pray right now for anybody out there sitting right here now, just listening and to this here and thinking maybe this guy's got a, a real story or whatever. Like go for it. It'll be a decision you'll never forget, and you something you'll never regret, and you'll see how life really really changes and how much happier and peaceful you're gonna be. It's just simple as that. So it's funny to think that a sign on the top of a building would be enough to drive Ray and I in to just seek more and just happen to be when she was starting to read and just happen to be questions. And it just, it's funny that it was just so coincidental how everything worked together to bring us into the church at that time. God's hand was just working so closely in Avery's life and in my life. There's so much more that I could tell you about what Jesus has done in my life. But here's the best. He's restored my marriage. Everyone in my family loves Jesus. And he's filled my heart. So I don't need to fill it with anything else. Now I know like I got, I got this joy and peace inside me and I just want to share it and I just want the, the people to know what it feels like and experience what I'm, what I'm feeling and, and what I'm going through every day, man. It's like, it's awesome. It's a wild ride. I didn't realize until now how unhappy I was before and how I wasn't living up to my potential. I didn't realize that there was more love I could give. I didn't realize there was more happiness. I never knew how peaceful I could feel. I never knew how happy I could feel. I never knew how full, how fulfilled I could be. So a lot of people think like, when you become a Christian, you gotta give up everything. You gotta give up your possessions you have, your friends. I still got my bike. I'm still riding my bike every day. Me and the wife goes out. The only difference is we'll pray before we go and that's it. I still have all my friends I had. For the past 20 years, they're still all my good buddies. I hang out with them. The only difference is I'm not drinking when I'm with when I'm with them, and that's the only thing that changed. At the beginning, they look at they looked at me a little strange, but now they accepted the way I am, and just hopefully that little bit of light could shine on them one day, and they could see what is what it's really all about. And you can feel God's hand in things, and it may not always make sense at the time, but looking back, you can always just tell that He was there with you, and you can. It, just, you can feel his guidance, you can feel his pull. You may, it may not be what you want, but it's always what you need. I'm sure there are people out there tonight that like me are saying, show me and I'll trust you. And I said that week after week. And that Sunday, I felt like he was saying, trust me and I'll show you.